So yes, as we all know, benchmark don't mean everything, but well, hey, they are fun, we like to see them, so why not? Let's just put it through its paces. So, let's first of all, let's load up Antutu. Right, so here it is, here's Antutu, we're going to run its test. Again, we're going to let it do its thing, we will uh, speed this, this part up of the video up, and we will, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Right, so here it is. How do we get? Hmm, the score's not that impressive when you look at it like that. But again, it is a synthetic benchmark. Um, it's getting under the Sony Xperia Z. Um, we're getting 20,637. So not fantastic, but to be fair, it doesn't matter when the actual device feels fast as hell. So let's jump into Quadrant. So here's Quadrant, and again, we're going to do its good old benchmarking test. We'll let it do its thing. Hopefully, uh, it's a lot quicker as this, this quadrant nowadays. A lot quicker than uh, Antutu. Antutu seems to take forever. Anyway, Sam, shut up and uh, speed it up. <laughs> right, people, here it is. The benchmark's in, and we get my device. Nope, we can actually see it on there. It's pulling in, is that 516, 5116? Yeah, 5116 in the uh, Quadrant benchmark, which is rated higher than something like the HTC One X from last year, the Transformer Prime, or Atrix. So as you know, it's not really got the most up-to-date kind of phones in here and tablets in here, but it's not a bad score. Um, it's not a great score in terms of a number, but once again, the number doesn't always mean everything. It's always something to remember. So last but not least, Let's do Geekbench 3. So here we are with Geekbench 3. So hopefully you can kind of see that in there. We've got a Nexus 7 4.3. Um, apparently she's running a Tegra 3, which we know is incorrect. Um, it's 1.7 gigahertz, 1.7 gigabyte, at 1.5 gigahertz quad core. So I don't know why it's reporting as a Tegra 3, because it is not. Obviously we know it's the Snapdragon um, S4 Pro. Also, some people think it's the actual... Um, um, Snapdragon 600, but underclocked. Anyway, let's do its benchmark thing and we will be right back. Right, people, and there we have them. Here are the scores. So, in terms of the single uh, core benchmark, we got 590, and the dual core, the multi thread, and even the multi core one is 1749. So, again, it's, I've not used Geekbench in the past, it's only the second time I've used it. Is that a good score? Or is that a bad score? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think to the Nexus 7? I've got to admit, I am very impressed with it. I'll have my full review up within about a week or so. Um, and yeah, any other videos you want to see on the Nexus 7 that I've not done? As always, people, leave those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I'll see you in my next one. Cheers, everyone.